How's it feel to be a head coach of squad? Well, yeah, first of all, I just want to say thanks to the Sounders organization for um, having the trust and the confidence in me to put me in charge of such a, what I think is an integral part of any club. You know, I think player development is right up there with player recruitment, player acquisition, and ultimately player selection to be successful. You know, I think in just six years we've been we've become the top team both on and off the field and I think having the proper development of our young kids uh, will go a long ways in ensuring that uh, that is a sustainable success so I'm very honored uh, I'm very flattered I'm, I'm very excited uh, I spoke with Adrian you know months ago and told him that it was something that I really wanted to do something I think I could really help in the organization so I'm just happy to have that opportunity to now do it what lessons have you learned from working with a reserve team and also as an assistant that maybe you'll carry over into this role? What are kind of the similarities and differences? Well, a lot of the times, you know, you're getting players that, you know, maybe with the reserve team that maybe they're upset. Maybe it's a first team player that feels like you should be on the 18 or you should have been on 11 played. And you have to deal with that, 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 that mentality. I think with S2, you're going to have players that, that are hungry. You know, we're going to look for players that, you know, the goal, they're going to know from the, from the minute they walk in the door, the goal is to be on the first team. The goal is to make the first team. So you're gonna, I'm going to have that, that fire from those players, and it's going to be a lot easier to deal with that because it's guys who really wanted to be on the first team as opposed to guys who may be coming off injury, who, you know, who are normal first team players, but, you know, happen to be playing a, a reserve game on that day. You know, so I think that will make my job a little easier, but it's going to be fun. Uh, because at the end of the day, like I said, the development of our youth and the players that's you know coming up, it's it's, it's very very important for you know this organization to stay at the top of the league. And you know it's right now we're in a good position and and we want to maintain that. And I think uh, it's going to be great. Every year you've had uh, several players that from the academy playing up on the reserve side. You're fairly familiar with them. Do you look forward to maybe coaching them now as professionals? What's it going to mean that? A well, yeah, uh, you know, I have some history with those guys, and you know, sometimes as a coach, it takes you a while to learn players. You know, know their likes, their dislikes. You know, how to get, you know, the most out of them. And I think having that experience with some of these players, it's it's going to help, and it's going to make it uh, an easier transition for me as a coach. You know, to now finally have an actual league that you know, you know, obviously development. Yeah, is the most important. But like Adrian said earlier, you know, we want to win also because this organization has always been sensitive to our fans. And we know that, you know, these people are spending their hard earned money to come and watch a game. So, yeah, we, while we're developing players, we want to make sure that we put a, a good brand, a good product out so that our fans leave the stadium, you know, with a little bit of excitement, you know, entertained and want to come back. Because at the end of the day, you know, it, it's it's all about entertaining them when they come, you know, spend their money to come and watch us play. So it's it's exciting exciting time. Uh, like I said, I'm very happy and I'm looking forward to. It's gonna be tough to walk away from your role as it is now. Well, yeah, because you know, and especially being with, with Ziggy, you know, I've I've known Ziggy now since '99, uh, playing with him in LA and then in Columbus and then you know being on his staff here. So, you know, he's someone that I've known for a while and I've worked with for a long time. You know. I've, you know, now I've been with Schmetzer and the rest of the guys for, you know, six seasons now. So it's going to be hard. But, you know, like I said, this is something that, that I wanted. This is something that I think I can help the organization with. And, and, and I'm happy for that role. Uh, one of the things that he said was that you know his system, obviously, being with him for so long. How much of a communication, how much communication will there be between the two of you guys as far as making your system kind of similar to his or changing things, if so? Well, I think there's going to be a lot, you know, because at the end of the day, there's a style that we want to teach our players similar to where the first team is playing. Um, there'll be some differences because that's just natural. We're two different people. But uh, for the most part, you know, I listen to Ziggy and he knows that, you know, I take whatever, you know, instructions he gives me. And then at the end of the day, uh, I have to make a decision based on the players that I have. You know, maybe he might want me to play a certain way, but maybe I have an injury and I, I can't play that way that he wants me to play. So I have to make that change. But so at the end of the day, it's going to have to be my decision because, you know, I'm going to be responsible for, you know, making sure that, you know, this project, you know, goes the way it's supposed to go, uh, which ultimately helps the first team. But, you know, we'll be in, he'll be in contact. And if you know Ziggy, he'll, he'll have his say. But <laughs> at the end of the day, I, I have to make some decisions, you know, on my own.